Hey folks, welcome back to Out of War. I'm having a ton of fun with this game, so spitting out videos as fast as I get time to. But today we're gonna take a look at some new ground and see what else we got around here. I've been digging quite a bit on the lithium mine here and we are debt free. Pull up the bank tab. We have no debt and we got about 88 grand. Just sitting there uh, waiting to be spent. So we're doing all right. And I've maybe a third, third or halfway through that. And I'm not 100% sure how deep it goes. Digging around here, I didn't get much deeper and it seemed to be just kind of dirt, but over in here seemed a little deeper. So yeah, we're just gonna keep digging until we run out of lithium on this spot. But I did want to branch out and see what else we had around the area. And then also, if anybody knows, what's up with this red spot? I've been digging here and I dig down and the red spot just reappears. So I don't know if that means anything or if it's just some kind of glitch. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. So we'll flatten some of this out while I'm over here. Put in some more cribbing, mostly just for looks. A couple more there. And it does kind of help Hold the dirt back a little bit. I did a little backfilling here where this hole was. It's kind of cool how you can move the dirt around. But anywho, enough yapping. Let's get to digging. That's the name of the game for this game. So I want to head over to this little patch behind me here. And let's just take a scoop and see what we got. I've sold off everything in the storage, so whatever's in storage be what we got out of this bucket right here. If you want to spend the money, you can get an excavator and you can get an attachment to drill, and then it'll tell you what's in these ore deposits as you drill down. Uh, but that's several hundred thousand dollars, so we're just going to dig and dump it in the hopper and see what we get. I've been poking around on the Discord. I put in several suggestions in reading. There's there's lots of stuff in the works, so hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. Gearboxes and stuff like that, just a lot of improvements in general. And there's even talk of logging if they can get that to work. That'd be cool. I'd like to see things like low boys have to transport your stuff around. I think that'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get a scoop of this, but before we drop it in the hopper, we'll check the other one. So these are close together. I don't know if that means they're the same thing or they just happen to be close together. I'm still learning a lot about this game. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Someday maybe we'll be able to find second or third gear. <laughs> Probably wouldn't go anywhere, but let's hit the parking brake. So what we got? We got more lithium. Pretty much looks like another lithium deposit. We got some little fragments of stuff there. Maybe this is lithium valley. I mean, lithium is pretty valuable, so nothing wrong with that. That was two grand just for that bucket. Stuff seems to fall out better if you're moving. Kind of figured out these little little things the way the game works as you play. Got uh yeah, more lithium. There we go. Actually a pretty pure bucket full. So it'd be neat if we had signs or something, but just have to remember that that's lithium. So let's just check out a few more. That's what I plan to do in this episode, is just kind of prospect around and see what we got. I mean, this looks like lithium. Or is that a little different texture? Yeah, that looks like a little diff different texture there. A little darker gray nuggets. Uh-oh. 
Nugget overboard. Yeah, those are those are different. Let's see what this is. Did I sell all that stuff? I did, didn't I? I did, okay. Second guessing myself here. It's late. I've already worked all day and I gotta work some more tonight, so my brain's a little fried. Alright, let's see what popped out of there. Go we'll check another hole. Well, that's coal. Okay. That didn't look like coal, but. Sure is. Okay. So I wonder how deep that goes, if that's coal. Interesting. So we got some lithium over there behind us. We got a little bit of coal right next to our spot here. Looks like probably another coal. So there might be a big coal seam underground here, for all we know. I did mess around with the compactor just to check it out. I don't think I mentioned that in the last video. And it literally just does the same thing as the pickaxe. Can't remember if I mentioned that in the last video. Yeah, that's more coal. Okay, well, possible site of a future coal mine. What is this spinning circle? Autosaves turned off. I don't know why it would be autosaving sometimes when I get in the vehicle. You can't drive the vehicle until that's done spinning. It's really weird. Is it starting back up? Maybe that's it starting up. I'll have to do some experimentation. I'm going to go ahead and knock this tree down. Basically just run into them. They disappear. What is this big mess over here? More coal, it looks like, in the texture. Yeah, that looks like coal. Oh, come on. Up out of the hole. Stop. Alright. I think it should be locked in. I think I've noticed too, if the little nuggets are close to the bucket, they won't despawn. Like, it keeps them in as nuggets if they're close to the bucket. Makes sense. More coal. Probably a little bit of dirt as well. See, it only it processes through the hopper. But just coal? I thought I had dirt in there. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that must be it starting up because it's it wasn't running. So there's no sound effect for starting up. I guess a little spinny circle is it starting up. All right, so we got a lot of coal there. That's interesting and that like i said that might be an indication that there's a lot of coal underground there's a big patch over here behind these trees so i'm gonna go check that out and there's another patch over there there's just patches everywhere Let's see what we got up here we trundle slowly uphill Dig in. Need a scoop to see what we got. That's looking like lithium. It's got just kind of a rock texture. So that might be another big lithium deposit. Alright, back down to the start we go. 
Also on another test save, I was testing out the truck and trailer. Uh, the physics are pretty rough on those. The ground has a big effect. The trailer slides all over the place. Hopefully those will improve in the future. So far, the wheel loader and the excavators work pretty well. The dozers, are, they're kind of limited. Uh, from what I hear, they were really nerfed in this patch. They're pretty much limited to just grading work. You can't really push much. So hopefully that will get revisited. All right, let's, let's go over here. See a dark patch. Now it takes just short of forever to get anywhere. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bounce. What's this look like from the cab? Another thing I noticed is a little white dot is present no matter if you're in third person in the cab. It, just, it should only show, in my opinion, if you're in third person as the character. It's kind of useless otherwise. A little tweak that needs to be done. Um, that looks like lithium as well. Let's just, let's go check what that other bucket was, and we'll check this one. I think we have just a ton of lithium around here. No sign of any pay dirt, but I don't know. I don't know how you find pay dirt, other than just looking. I don't know if there's any indication of it. There's no like alluvial plains or anything. I don't think there's any bodies of water actually. lithium and we should add some dirt in there what's going on there's clearly dirt in the bucket I call shenanigans okay so do we can get like 1.7k for a good bucket of lithium let's see if we can get a really good bucket of coal what do we get for a really good bucket of coal I have to move some of this material out of the way. I really wish we had brakes. Someday, maybe it'll get better. Yeah, I think that's probably about as we can, about as good as we can get from this deposit. So, Give that a second to make sure it's locked in. Mostly locked in. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice big full bucket. That gave us 42 coal. So yeah, I think the coal's going to be a little less profitable than the lithium, but something different to do. It's like the physics doesn't even kick in until the spinning circle goes away.
deep does this go? Is it just on the surface? Let's just do some earth moving. Uh oh. <laughs> Might have got myself in a predicament here. It's a little steep. I don't think it goes that deep. Maybe it does. It's still showing down there. It's hard to tell sometimes. Because when it re-solidifies, sometimes it just turns into the dirt color, even though it's mostly something else underneath. So here's where we need that like a big open pit scoop machine. It's coming in the next update. It'll be interesting to see what we get. We just start scooping out that coal. See what we get for that bucket. We're processing through. I got 51 coal that time. So yeah, maybe it could be pretty comparable if you get a good bucket full. See that time it started up, but it didn't have the spinny thing. All right. I don't know what the spinny thing is. Somebody, somebody will have to let me know. All right, so we moved some overburden there. This probably got some coal mixed in with it as well. How good a job can we do smoothing that up? Probably not very good. This bucket works better if you got something to scoop back up against. Ground is super rough if you haven't been over it with the pickaxe. I'm not sure these big tires should be that concerned. But I don't know physics wise what the tire is. Like in Farm Sim, they're just discs. At least they used to be, and then they finally made them somewhat wider. So it's cheaper to do discs computationally wise. So even though we have big fat tires, the physics might just be a little disc, like a pizza cutter. Might be why we're feeling all these bumps, I'm not sure. There's always compromises in computer games, because you only have so much computing power to go around. Uh-oh. Caution, junior operator. So there we go. We got a good lithium mine. We got a bunch of good coal. We can make a lot of money in this valley. I want to upscale the operation at some point. I was kind of thinking about um, maybe getting an excavator next. Just for something different. But excavators, it's really hard to use. I don't have the muscle memory. This is pretty easy because, like I've said before, I, I played a lot of farm sim and used the front loaders on the tractors a lot. Doing hay and, you know, scooping stuff. So I've already got that muscle memory. It, it just works on this game. Controls are a little slower to respond, but it's pretty much all the same controls. Running the mouse. The excavator is a different story. <laughs> I've used it some on my other save, and it's not pretty. But if I got some kind of dual joystick set up, then it might be all right. Yeah, man, it's it's really hard to scoop. Like these buckets are good at digging. I guess this is where the dozer shines, is you could actually grade it to a certain level with the dozer. Let's try going a little slower here. Try to adjust the blade as we go. Yeah, there we go. That, tur that turned out pretty good. So maybe just got to go a little slower here with the wheel loader. 
I want to get rid of all these humps I made. Push it back in there. We can dig it back out when we go to coal. There we go. That's not too bad. This one more, one more little line here. Leared off. It's hard to speak when I'm tired. I, my speech gets kind of jumbled. Just a little bit of peach and spediment. <laughs> what I always say. There we go. That's not too bad. Not too bad for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. This one we can just kind of dive in and go across. Bet we can get a lot of coal out of here. I would imagine this top part is just dirt. See if we can do a little bit of overburden renewal instead of just scooping everything. Yeah, it's hard to get very precise control. Need more practice. Got a little bit of coal in that scoop, maybe. See, we're getting we're getting mostly dirt, so that kind of works. But I wonder if we had a dozer, if we could kind of scrape that off, you know, into a pile, and then use the the wheel loader to just scoop up the coal. If that would work out. Anywho, I think I'm gonna head back over to the lithium mine. Slowly. <laughs> the thing I had thought about too, I might I might end up doing that. I'm gonna do some more thinking about it, is basically digging like a trench here and then having the hopper like where my bucket is. Dig a trench. And then have uh maybe conveyors or a yeah. You can't chain the hoppers together, so maybe conveyors here that we could just scoop downhill, just scoop everything into that and have it suck it up. We'd have to move that stuff. So I don't know. I'll think about it. I just wanted to verify that there's not more lithium underneath before I did something like that. So getting the top layer off is not too bad. It's, it goes fairly quick. And it's fairly profitable. He says it goes fairly quick as he completely fails to dig anything. Kind of wiggling the bucket seems to help sometimes too. Break it loose. Another thing that's missing is horns. Need a horn on this thing. Oh, we got one little piece missing. Get in there. There you go. All right, so I've been doing this all in uh, daylight. But one thing that's kind of cool you can do is you can customize your vehicles. So let's take a look at that real quick. We've already done the uh, paint, but you can buy lights as well. There we go, up to 100 grand. Nice. So we go over here to uh, parts. See, we got paint and wheels, and we upgraded the paint and the wheels on the loader. We can also get lights, so let's grab a couple beacons. 
Should we do a beacon bar? Maybe we'll do a beacon bar. Probably a medium. Then let's get a medium bar for the top and then some power lights. Couple of those. Some little a couple little lights for the back. There we go. Then if you hop in your vehicle, you can come out here to Q menu on vehicle options, and then you can uh, put those in place. What's supposed to happen is it's supposed to show you the light position, but it's broken. I don't know why. I've seen this work for other people. So it's supposed to point to where the light goes, but it doesn't. So by process of elimination, we can see one and three. That's probably where we want. That's the top, that's the top and forward, I guess. So seven is up top, all right. And then I want my power lights probably on one and three. One and four, there we go. That's those two posts. And then our beacon bar. On kind of the top middle. That might work. Let's see if we can move that a little bit. I wanted to be able to see the back end. So I want these uh, power lights. Where's 18? We got 18, then maybe 16? 15? There we go. This would be from kind of our reverse lights. <laughs> stick them over there. That's not what I wanted. 10? I thought maybe there would be a middle position. Apparently not. Okay, well, there it is. So then we can turn on beacons. It's kind of cool. Then we can turn on lights. And then if we want it to be daytime or uh, nighttime. Yeah, let's pull it back to like sunset. We got lights. And we can work at night. Sort of. So that's pretty cool. You can just put whatever lights wherever you want on the vehicle. And hopefully they'll get it fixed where you can actually see where they're going. Because that's pretty handy where it just points to the spot. But it's not too hard to work out, you know, where it's going to be. It just takes a little bit of trial and error. That's some bright lights. We've got our little backup lights too so we can see where we're going in reverse. So there you have it. Another Out of War video. Thanks as always for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. I have to say beep beep because we don't have any horns. <laughs>